Hi, I'm Jesus, and this video is about how Valve is deleting skins. We're going to look at the poor schmuck who's had his $23,000 of skins deleted. We're going to explain how and why it happened, and leave off with a few sanguine notes about how to avoid the wrath of God. Now, over the past few years, Valve has been fighting a war of attrition with CSGO's gambling sites. It's a bit of a, a Western Front style conflict, if you want to look at it that way, and fittingly, there has been no winner. The, the gambling sites are still there and don't seem to be going away anytime soon, but the casualties have been immense. And by immense, I mean thousands upon thousands of bot accounts filled to the brink with high-end skins, collectively containing millions upon millions of dollars of skins, which have been trade banned by Valve in their effort to stamp out these sites. But one interesting thing about these bots, even though they get trade banned, uh, they get these shadow trade bans that don't actually show up on the account, they're not actually VAC banned. You can still play comp with them or you like. And what you'll frequently see is that cheaters will buy one of these accounts off a gambling site owner so they can play on it a bit before they get a VAC ban. So if you check out VAC porn, you'll see tons of these accounts with ridiculous looking inventories that were actually trade banned to begin with. Now, th these sales tend to be very covert. People aren't very public about them because it's a violation of Steam terms of service. You're not meant to share or sell accounts. And this constitutes that. But I mean, it doesn't matter too much if their account is going to get banned five days later because of the free aim lock software the cheater is using on it. But recently, Something a bit more public happened, specifically CSGO Empire, who apparently has $4 million of skins on trade banned accounts, decided they were going to hold a bit of a public giveaway for them, a very popular public giveaway. I mean, <laughs> there's 26,000 retweets, this thing got around, that's not small. And fun fact, they were even going to give me an account, I'd been offered it through a third party and I was going to accept it seemed pretty generous on the part of the owner of CSGO Empire given how many times I've turned down advertising offers from him. I, I thought you know, it was nice of him to offer and I thought it might be fun to play around on an account like that, but that's uh, not going to be happening now and there's a very good reason why. And it comes down to an unassuming bunny hopper called Bean. Now, the reason I'm bringing up Bean isn't because of his bunny hops, it's because he was the first person to win an account through this giveaway. Now, I don't think it's a coincidence that a guy of a YouTube channel got the first account, but if you're an entrant to this competition who feels that Bean may have been unfairly picked over you, don't feel too bad about it, because Bean was about to find out that owning a trade band account isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Now, uh, this is the account. Now, Bean got this account, $23,000 worth of skins. And if we just have a look at it, you can see how stacked it is. I mean, for example, there is 54 knives, there's eight gloves. If we go to the weapons, if we go for weapons filters, uh, I mean, it, it's just, it's just loaded with stuff. There's tons of covert play skins, there's tons of classified play skins. There's, there's all the skins you could ever want in here. It doesn't matter that it's trade banned. You've got so much choice, uh, so much stuff to pick from that you know, who, who really cares? It, it doesn't matter that you can't trade them because if you're just using them in game, well, this thing has you completely covered. But five days after he got the new account, Bean ran in to a bit of a problem. Now, I'll let on a pixel uh, explain what happened. So as he tweets, Steam just decided to wipe this trade ban gambling accounts, knives and weapons, 23k deleted. Oh, and additionally, Steam community banned his main account, which had no relation to the account won in the giveaway. Now, when I first heard this story, I almost couldn't believe it, because Valve isn't really known for deleting skins, unless they're expensive knives on Bitskin spots apparently, but I can't actually say I believe that story, but lo and behold, I was able to verify this. I mean, this is Bean's bot's inventory on CSGO Exchange on December 11, 2019. You can see the date here, you can see the date here. And if we just, you know, have a look at the skins in this inventory, you'll see that they were all added um, on CSGO Exchange, not literally added to the inventory, but registered on CSGO Exchange at the same time, August 2019. So if we scroll down, you'll see it's exactly the same right down at the bottom. Oh, uh, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> um, we're almost there. Okay, okay here we are. Oh, okay. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, 
exact same day. Now, this is a big giveaway that this is a banned gambling bot. That, that, that's how you get inventories like this where it's only ever been registered on CSGO Exchange once. There's tons of random good stuff in there and it's all tradable but sitting there idle. And the reason is it's been trade banned. Now, if we apply a couple of filters, you'll also notice that there are a few keys and a few stickers in here. Now, if we switch to Bean's inventory as it currently sits on CSGO Exchange, uh, you'll notice that those stickers and those keys are pretty much all that's left. Everything else is gone. And uh, th this is a trade band inventory. You can't trade these skins. You can't sell them on the same community market. The only way those skins could have left his inventory is if, if Valve intervened and removed them or deleted them. So, uh, as best I can tell, Valve really did go in there and delete those $23,000 worth of skins. Now, in a lot of respects, this actually raises more questions than it answers because, as I said, Valve don't really do this sort of thing. I've never heard of them wiping an inventory like this before, but Beam was able to provide me with a lot of extra information which clarified things a bit in, in a slightly concerning way. So, first of all, uh, it seems like they initially vac banned the bot account before deleting its skins, and once the skins were gone, they removed the vac. Bean apparently got this message when logging in, and I, I gotta say, this is a bit unusual. It doesn't really sound like an automated process to me. And furthermore, when Bean appealed the community ban on his main account, which he was able to do successfully, it got lifted really quickly and he can use his main account again, he got this message from Hal at Steam Support, and the community ban was for account sharing. So it was definitely because of the bot he got off CSGO Empire. Also, I like how it says there's a zero tolerance policy, but they're going to give him a second chance anyway. It's a bit inconsistent, but whatever. This got me curious about how Steam managed to link up the two accounts. I mean, did Bean do something stupid? Did he, you know, put the gambling bot on the same phone number or email address as his main account? Well, he said to me, he did no such thing. He kept the accounts completely separate. In fact, CSGO Empire actually still controlled the two-factor authentication, which means if the accounts weren't directly linked, someone at Steam has taken the time to come in and do all this manually. This was a targeted hit. Now, is it a surprise that Valve found out about a giveaway by a large gambling site with 26,000 retweets? Well, no, it's, it's not surprising at all that they found out about this. And targeting Bean and deleting his inventory does have a rationale. You see, Valve probably doesn't want these high-end accounts being given out to people because it actually undermines their skin economy. People pay a lot of money to have a high-end inventory, particularly given all the shit that's been lost by gambling sites on banned bots over the years, which has forced up the price of a lot of skins. And having you know stacked inventories like this being passed around on the cheap or even for free undercuts that. They don't want skins being devalued. So it's not actually that surprising that they caught wind of this giveaway and decided to intervene. By bringing down the hammer on Bean in a kind of targeted killing, I suspect they're hoping they can scare people off. And in fact, I'm surprised they were even willing to unban Bean. I would have expected them to show him no mercy whatsoever. So if there is a lesson to this story, well, as Martin tweets, banned gambling accounts will never bring any good to anyone. Don't get involved with them. Gabe is watching us. Or at the very least, don't don't announce you've acquired a banned gambling account in a public tweet that gets 10,000 retweets. That will probably get you in trouble. And with that, I think we're at the end of this cautionary tale. If you enjoyed this vid, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, maybe consider following my Twitch channel. I'll link that below. I'm going to be doing a couple of streams a week there going forward. So it'd be awesome if you come by and hang out. I'm going to do a lot of trade-ups on it, and I'm also planning on maybe having a look at Phantom Lord on the stream soon. That that could be spicy. You don't want to miss that. So, for the mystery comment, it's from Thrown Out of Hell. Is it weird? I say the intro the same time that you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say it's pretty weird, but I'm a big proponent of letting people be weird if they want to. So, I salute you, bud, and with that, we're done for now. Uh, as always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.